Hello my friends, I'm Mr. Mokalover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in the Great War Redux mod, playing as a Commonwealth of Nations. So last time, we annexed Canada, South Africa, uh, Australia, and New Zealand, and that's pretty much it. We got some manpower from the Raj, so let's talk about a few things. So I asked you guys yesterday whether or not we should core those various places, and I did core those places because there was a lot of support for me to do so. Yet our manpower really didn't increase whatsoever. I used the Safe Chester Tool mod, but as you can tell, this is all cored, but... Well, I guess whatever happens, happens. Um, someone also suggested since I kind of cock blocked myself while uh, getting Rhodesia, release them as an independent state, which I want to do, but the Commonwealth of Nations is involved in the scramble for Africa and can't release nations or colonies. It isn't possible to release China in the Warlord era. So it is what it is. Um, maybe at the end of this campaign, once we get rid of the scramble for Africa, we can get rid of this, that little modifier or that national spirit. So we can fix that. It's 1914, August 4th, 5th. Europe isn't breaking out into war just yet either. A couple more comments. Um, I asked you guys yesterday, what should, what, would you, what should we call our agency name? Room 40 is cool and all, but... It was really a toss-up between the Kingsmen and the Secret Service Bureau, which became, became MI6. So I want to go with... Uh, let's just go with the Secret Service Bureau. Even though I like the Kingsmen, which sounds really cool and, you know, kind of punny. Um, we'll just go with the Secret Service Bureau. So, uh, it is what it is. I, like, every time I do this, I wish we could choose other names as well. More than one, but you guys gotta have at least one name here. Cool. Oh, map went up. There it goes. It finally went up. Uh, that's the case. Opening the Panama Canal. Great. Yeah. The problem is, though, we're still not at war, which really sucks. Or, we don't see any wars happening right now, which really sucks. I guess we'll build up Canada. I do plan on probably going to war with the United States, if possible. I really want to turn, like, fascist or communist. Probably fascist, let's be realistic here. A social revolutionaries return to the Duma. Ah, the social revolutionaries again pass. Cool. So, I don't know how to do this one. The fallen government, I don't know what that is. The great neutrality crisis, our government has quite literally fallen. It's time for the people's king, who has determined to steer us out of the continental bloodshed to take power. Um, yeah, I guess World War One has to start first, and then we can do that. But it, it might not go so well right now because, well, Russia went down. I, I basically forced them to do one, either centrist Duma or revolutionaries. So they, I guess they've done that path. So it's, I, because they, but because before I recorded this, Russia didn't do either resist the Duma or convene the fourth state Duma. They were busy doing other stuff instead of um, choosing either one of these, which really sucks. So it is what it is. I basically had to go into the console commands and manually make them do something and now they're not doing that thing like i said it is what it is so we're gonna be here for a little while just kind of hanging out watching the world slowly but surely become more aggressive towards each other which some might say is a good thing do we need commando uh i definitely want artillery you know you might as well grab that also france can't go to war with germany because apparently to do their focus down here to do uh not release vietnam but get all states learning back they need 1.5 million manpower in the field they can only have less than a million. They're about 900,000 to a million, but they're nowhere near 1.5 million. Oh, and now we have the Kingdom of Bohemia. This is a really sad day for Austria-Hungary. This is really sad, Franz Joseph. Joint Staff of the Central Powers. Uh, it's Italy still in here as well, so... Yeah, this is definitely interesting. So gather the Imperial General Staff. Uh, if... World War wasn't hasn't started within the next 10 minutes. I'm probably just going to manually make France go to war with Germany or something. So we shall next do... Mm, mobilization of the repair yards. I do like that. I do need to get down here because we need more war support, though. But we need war to actually happen. Uh, civil One civilian factory isn't that great. I really like that, but that doesn't lead us to anything else. Destroyers. Oh, we need to get rid of that. So that's not bad. So refresh the British fleet. Because even though we can't do the next focus immediately... Once, you know, world tension is at 50% or we are at war, that's good. Oh, look at that. English staff. Very nice. Now, I do want to go to war with the U.S. Probably take them over. That sounds like fun. Ooh, nice. Better guns, better guns. I love the better guns. Let's grab some of those. Nice. Even though we don't have enough artillery already, that's okay. Early bombers. Cool. There you go. We definitely need more military factories. Guns will be fine. Artillery should be fine soon enough. Carol the First has passed away. And they're still fighting the Second Balkan War, which is... Well, it is what it is. It wasn't super easy when I played a Serbia against those folks, but, you know, it is what it is. 
For the love of God, please go to war. Someone, please go to war. Atlantic class. Uh, Protectorate of Serbia. Huh. So that might actually make... Would that make Austria-Hungary sort of guarantee Serbia? They can call, get into the war against Bulgaria. Would Bulgaria join the war against somebody, maybe? For the love of God, I hope so. Let's get some more max factories in the state, too. Serbia submits to Austria. Okay, incredible solution. Wow, that is... That is something. That is definitely... And they're in the Central Powers. Wow. Now the anti-Bulgarian League is over there. Are you fighting Austria now? No, you're fighting just those two. Pacifism. Resettle refugees. Oh, we've got some more guys. I mean, we're building up our army, which is nice, but... At the same time, man. Please. Someone go kaboom. And we're building up ourselves quite a bit. Do we have any more light cruisers? Uh, yes, we do. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. 1940s. Oh, and I also have names for some of these ships as well. We have nothing there. 14, nothing there. Nothing. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. And we're going to go with battle cruisers because I like battle cruisers. I love battle cruisers, man. Secondary battery, big boy battery. I don't want to get us too slow, so we're going to do it like not like that. Hmm, disappointing. Nope, 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 nope. And I don't have enough naval XP. God dang it. It is what it is. Well, we get a lot of political power. That's kind of nice. Refresh the British fleet. Demobilize our economy. We get strikes. Are you kidding? We get less resource efficiency gain. What are we on currently? We get hit by 5%. Oh, God dang it. You pieces of garbage. Eh, we might as well do that now. It doesn't really matter, I guess. Delete Enfield. New Frontier. Let's do Encourage African Settlements, which encourage natively born Englishmen to migrate to Africa. Not only to assist in subduing the local population, but also to keep the populace populations fresh and British and avoid the disaster of 1776. Hmm. I wonder what happened in 1776. Hmm. One of the greatest countries was founded. Okay, then. Anyways. Uh. Please, love of God, someone kill each other. Please. Colonial Legions. Artillery, oh my gosh. Pilot formations. Ottomans, please do something. German revision of the army, huh. Mountain fortification, Russian advisors, Serbian staff. They're not at war with those guys anymore, which really sucks for Greece. That must really sucks for you guys. You could use a little bit more fuel. I don't mind buying just a, a tad, a tad. We'll buy from the Russians for now. One thing of fuel, maybe get a little more naval XP. Just a little bit more. Uh, China is still suffering against the Beiyang government. That's still a pretty united China. I like that. No warlords yet. No, no, no. And Belgium's looking pretty thick. Tanzania. What can we do here? Improve worker conditions. Yeah, might as well try to get more stability for now. Alright, we can do this just a little bit more. Throw on a big boy battery, but not that bad big boy battery. Thank you. Uh, carrier holes. Oh, God, these are all looking like trash. I guess just keep making this for now. That's fine. Even though I don't think we'll have too many problems with the subs. The population. This is really disappointing that... I think we set it to ahistorical, but... Oh, come on, man. Seriously? Secularization of the church. Uh, you get more stability. Kingdom of Illyria. Oh, my goodness. What's America up to? Aviation Act, or Effort 2. I wonder which way they went. Condemn Korea annexation. Neutral foreign policy. We have encouraged African settlement, which is kind of nice. And then we shall do... Kenyan farmland for a single factory? Sure, why not? So the hills and mountains of Kenya are cold in comparison to the rest of the climate, and the natives have long deemed them uninhabitable. However, they are in fact just like Blighty. Old farmhands from back home should enjoy working there, and we can mobilize farms there with ease. Industrial complex, industrialization, very good, very good. Uh, get some more fuel, that'd be kind of nice to grab. I like fuel. Fuel would be nice. 
All right, Austin, good. We're gonna immediately grab this next one. We want to get tanks as fast as possible. Good tanks too, not garbo tanks. Oh, Persian campaign. Okay. So actually, the Germans also were. I had to use focuses to make them do this. Oh, did I make them? Do I did have to make them do both of these. And I think I said Germany is set to protector of Europe and the great game begins. So they at least did this one. Strike from the shadows would be nice, but Russia needs less stability. Hmm. Uh, we build up some factories down here. And then do Australia as well. Ooh, 80% nice. And then throw them in a few more dockyards if you need them. Be fine. And then bop. And then bop. Resource wise, we're gonna come back over here. Probably do the home islands just in case. Ah, trench warfare, very nice. Sorry, Scotland. You're not getting anything for now. Typical, right? Okay, eventually. eventually. Chemical warfare. I love chemical warfare. You guys, heavy ship holes. Throw. Actually, you know what? Just do carriers first. Some more hangar space. Because we need like two more. Mass workers protest. Dissatisfied with working conditions. Workers organize a protest march which is gaining more and more people. Protest leaders demand labor reform so that workers have no reason to protest again. Communism? Gedarme will solve this problem? Huh. Wait, that doesn't equal... 42 plus 57%. That equals not 100%. A little reform does not hurt. Yeah, that's fine. Go and do that. We have the political power for it. Can I buy one more fuel? Yes. The Navy does suck up a lot of fuel, but at least we're getting more naval support, or naval XP. The most important thing for us right now. Bureaucracy, the Persian campaign, Austria, you are dominance in the Balkans. I really don't know this branch of the Austria-Hungary tree. Okay, so they get a war puppet war goal against Bulgaria. I kind of like that, I kind of like that. Croatia, Serbia, Albania's looking kind of large. Um, Turkey, please do something. Please, for the love of God, do something. Please do, like, pr prepare for coming war. Purge the... Eight Hadists? Okay, Kenyan farmlands. I like them. I like the Kenyan farmlands. Fortified, Sufist, uh, border. Legacy of the Boer War actually is probably a good idea to do, so let's do that. So, the Boer War highlighted many issues within our army that must be fixed in time for the event of a European conflict. So, at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and manually spawn World War One. I'm going to have the French probably declare war on the Br Germans or something, and I'll see you in just a little bit. Alright, my friends, sorry about that, but basically I had France declare war on the Germans. Just because this is taking too long, it's 1915, Binky is calling to come back into my room, it is what it is. So, hopefully we'll see some conflict out oh, there, some conflict. The war has assassination, tough luck for him. And the Great War has begun. Now, I wonder if we have an event. Oh, and Russia has also joined the war, which is kind of interesting since Russia is reorganizing the general staff. They also allied with Belgium, but they still have not done either one of these three focuses, which will turn them more socialist. And now Italy's, of course, in the Central Powers, as we are just kind of hanging out, watching the world kind of slowly burn, which is kind of something that we want to watch and see happen. Cool. Carriers. Make sure we got none of that. Nothing there. All right, this looks like a good carrier. Put it on the boat. Greater London area. Thank you, thank you. And then do that. Thank you. Hey, at least we're going to get some carriers going. In which we will give them a special name once they are released. But I'm glad to see that well, at least the world's burning right now. That's always nice to see, right? And Luxembourg has joined the Entente. Cool. Oh, Germany declared war on them. Nice. So do we get an event... Ah, Sir Edward Grey resigned. So, following the instance of neutrality of our government, Sir Edward Grey has resigned in protest and refused to work for a government that will not support its greatest allies. The government is sure to follow. Collapse of the Liberal government. Shortly, very shortly after Sir Grey's resignation, the Liberal cabinet has one by one also handed in the resignations. With only the Chancellor of the Exchequer and a few poultry positions remaining, the government has effectively collapsed. Oh, well that's not good. Get a lot less stability now. Thanks a lot, game. Uh, let's not do that one first. There we go. Finally, a fallen government. Oh my gosh. Minus 50% political power gain. Holy smokerinos. But at least we can do the royal prerogative. Following the great neutrality crisis, our government has quite literally fallen. It is time for the king's people, or the people's king, who has determined to steer us out of the continental bloodshed to take power. That does not seem very bueno. 
English ne neutrality crisis. Wow, we are not very liberal. We are somewhat Fabian. Not at all war office. Or, or unaligned. Well then. Well then. So, God save the king. It sounds like a lot of fun, but the Red Banner in London. All the king's men. Arrest Sir Edward Grey. Well, we're going to choose a path that lets us go to war with different people that we want to go to war with. The Big Wolf. Pantarania. Nah, Abyssinia. Persia. Nah, yeah, that's, that's okay. The Grand Campaign seems okay. I do like, though, the Lord Protector of England. That seems like a lot of fun. Restore order to the east. Topple Soviet Russia. Sounds like fun. Denounce liberalism. The King's Men. Armament Factory. Claim on parts of France. I like that. Romanov Alliance. Petition for Truman Alliance. Oh, cool. Uh, the legitimate king, the Edward the Eighth. It's not bad. Uh, not bad. Just before World War II wouldn't be too bad, especially if you become more fascist. Is that how you do it? By order of the king, third positionism. U.S. declaration of neutrality. War can't be avoided. Very cool. So here you get more de daily democracy and authoritarian stuff. Mm -hmm. All the king's men might be the way to go. Uh, daily political power gain, that's not bad. Condolences for... Condolences. Cameroon is gone. Join the central powers. Obviously, we don't turn communists. I mean, that'd be okay, but that's not really our goal here. No country for red devils. Hmm. Intervene in the Chinese rebellion. Republic of China has to exist. Togo has capitulated. Expand the southern concessions. Cool. First Lord of the Admiralty. Third positionism. Less democracy, which is fine. You also get... Is there no way to get more fascism? Or proto-fascism? Or... I guess authoritarianism is the way to go, I guess. Uh, oh, no, there it is. Democracy and fascism. For never let the old life fall. And even more daily fascism. I guess this is, this is really the pathway to take with the grand campaign. Just so that we can go to war with, with whoever we want, I think. I'm thinking it, it's going to work like that. I hope it works like that. Hey, look, more of this. Uh, heavy ships. Nice. Uh, that's probably all that we can really afford, though. That sucks. Nice. Oh, you. Come over here. The royal prerogative. We get more war support and political power. I've yet to go fascist in any of these campaigns yet. Oh my gosh, early mobilization. Yeah, that's right. Oh, uh, disgusting. Ah, there you go. Nice. So, we can do God Save the King and the Red L Banner in London. Hmm. Well, I'll probably go with the Red Banner in London just because I would like to turn fascist. Even though that's... Even though I kind of want to... I want to do God Save the King. I think I ought to do this one just because I want to turn fascist. So, following the King's ascent to power, Marxists have agitated the people of London to revolt. And reports are coming out that Buckingham Palace has fallen. You get a lot of demilitarized zones, and Kitchener becomes leader for the non-aligned party, and remove King George V. Stability goes... We're going to lose 5% stability, so be it. I want to do that so badly. I want to go over here. But we might have to wait. Hey, look. 0 0.02 a day, huh? And we get more communist support, which is not really ideal. Chief of Army. Am I losing anything? No, I'm not. Um, can't do anything. Get out of that at all. War propaganda? Actually, you know, let's do that. I could do probably a little bit more war propaganda for now. Wait, was it 50 or 150? Might have been 150. So it looks like Russia's not doing well. Pretty normal. France is doing, well, they're doing okay. And do we have more shippies? A little bit, yes. Very nice. And they're all killing each other. Ah, I love not getting involved in continental conflicts right now. Russia, you're really not looking good, are you? 23% uh, stability, that's not good. Spirit of the people's will. That sounds interesting. So they're going to go with democracy instead of negotiations with Lenin. Good for the peasantry. Self-determination. Ah, so you get more puppets. Focus on Scandinavia. Force the Tsar's abdication. Oh boy. And they'll still have a Russian revolution. Interesting to say the least. Let's move you up, actually. Bayushin land, yes, good. Well, time for another general. And we shall be led by, not George Harper, James Grierson. Yes. I'm not even sure where to put all these guys, to be honest with you. Red Banner in London. Very nice, very nice. 
and now we'll never let the old flag fall. Just as it seemed all, that all was lost, that the Reds had secured control of the capital, Herbert Kitchener and the Gr Grenadier Guards, the Coldstream Guards, and a variety of other regiments marched straight into London. Blaring old patriotic tunes, they met little opposition as Kitchener walked into Downing Street and arrested the Communist government. As night fell, brutal street fighting occurred, but for the night, uh, I think we would say the Brit British homeland will be okay. Yeah. Cool. Wow. Quite demilitarized, I would have to say. Yes, very quite. If that's the case, I've got to look at this. It takes only 35 days. We've got 30 days left. All the King's Men versus Lord Protector. More fascism here, but over here you get more daily political power. And this will give us more fascism and democracy. I think democ fascism will win, probably? Probably? We get less communism. Some letters called... Publicly support the White Feather Society. We go down this way, we get the Grand Campaign. We can go to war with one of these three, restore order in the East. We go left, all the King's Men. We can do announce liberalism. And we can do this. Victoria's Return. Proto-Fascist Party. Get Portugal, which is okay. I really like Defender of the Faith, but that's okay. Join the Central Powers, that's okay too. Armament Estates. The Legitimate King. But we can't do that because it requires all the king's... Oh, we can do that. It requires all the king's men. It seems like you have to do arrest Sir Edward Grey to get down here, but it doesn't look like you have to. So. Uh, I like this. The Eternal Kingdom. Hmm. That's kind of cool. Oh, yeah, we have people we can deploy. Whoops. That's Gonsco Man. As you can see, I've been messing around with that stuff, too. Uh, there you go. There you go. Nice. Oh, and we changed our flag. Cool. A lion's head. And now we shall... Oh, boy. The attack defense of our territory. Less damage to garrisons. Yeah, we, we probably want to go this way. So, Kitchener has seen fit that he must transform his martial powers into political ones, and has assumed the title of Lord Protector. While this is traditionally used as merely a regency, its last use was under the rule of Oliver Cromwell, where England saw itself transform into a stratocratic republic. Oh, boy. This is getting weird. Hello, Kitchener. What neutrality crisis says ended? No, I lost Percy French. No, not that guy. Uh, uh Governor Gambia. As much as I like that, oh no, no, they're not ready yet. Some, no. How much manpower is in there? No, that's not worth it. Nigeria might not be bad actually. Oh, Imperial Federation. That's what our name now. Uh, it might not be bad having them as an ally just because they got so much manpower. So let's still have our blessing. Imperial Nigeria. Oh, he's a silent workhorse, too. Uh, he's proto-fascist. Are we proto- Oh, look at that manpower. That's not bad. Especially on volunteer only. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. They're out of... Uh, they have no army, but you know what? That's okay. Do we have... Yeah, I guess we're war office. That's cool. Uh, Ghana. Nope. Rhodesia. Uh, they have our blessing. There you go. We have Rhodesia. Um, they're already up. You know, even though I made a mistake earlier... We still got her boys. Look at that. Imperial Zimbabwe. It's really real easy. And with that flag led by Desmond. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm totally cool with that. Cool. How much manpower you got? 19,000. Not a lot. Not quite. Not a lot. But that's okay. Mm, Singapore. Cool. Any more ships? Any more ships? Yes, we do. Don't want to get involved in any sort of wars. Oh, so we don't have Pax Britannica 1. We don't have Pax Britannica 2. But we do have Pax Britannica 3. Now, that is awesome. And we're slowly, slowly, slowly becoming more and more fascist. Sanusi joined the Entente. Okay, well, good for you. Good for y'all. Uh, here we shall go to war economy. Nice. We can build, 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 build. Sanusi, you're looking kind of thick there. I'm glad we're not getting involved in this mess. Because the world is one giant hubbub of a mess. There you go. Do that too. You know, get a lot of artillery. That's looking really good. I'm loving this. We're going to need more bombers. We're going to need more planes. We're going to need more of this as well. Awesome. Let time go on and let people kill each other. 60% war support. Not bad. Uh, what are the casualties like thus far for the war? German Luxembourg War. Yeah, they're actually pretty even. That's not too bad. Turkic Central Arabia, huh? Not bad. Kingdom of Egypt. Not bad. Tobruk. And there we have the Great Socialist Revolution. Wow. 
That is not good. That is really not good for the Russians. And now, oh, here comes Ukraine. And here comes Finland. Here comes John. Oh my goodness, this is disgusting. I don't know why, every time I say that, it's getting disgusting, eh? I don't know why I always get that accent coming out. Uh, they are not... Wait, why would we release Egypt as a puppet? We already have Egypt. Fight for trade unions. Negotiations in Brits Litovsk. Trouble again in Russia. Wow, that is... That is unfortunate, Russia. That is quite unfortunate. Well, we're gonna do that. Sorry, Russia. I'm not gonna trade with the United States, but I will trade with some Mexicans. We like the Mexicans. They give us good oil. Can't wait to turn fascist, too. Just so that... Oh, more lag. That we can maybe go to war with the United States. Don't get involved in all this stuff. Because Europe, it's a mess. Let's just be real. It's a mess. Mountain Republic, yeah, no one cares about that stuff. We will see what happens later on. Cool. Boom, there you go. It's going to take a while. Prob oh, well, that looks like a really thick Germany. And it is, but... Ah, oh, beautiful. Only 5% support of this ideology. Hmm. I'm going to be surprised if... Oh, Luxembourg is back. They never died. I'd be surprised if France actually wins this war. Because even though I made them the, the aggressors... Oh, wait, we can justify on them. Oh, hold on. I can justify on America. They don't have a ton of manpower. You know what? Let's get involved. Let us get involved, my friends. This is probably a bad idea, but that's okay. All right, everyone. To your battle stations. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's really un that's really not good. Um, I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull you two out. You guys, come over here. It's gonna be a terrible idea to do this. How big is it, the U.S. Navy? Well, it looks like not very good. Hmm gonna do some of this cool because you guys coming over here hey at least we're finally doing something we're getting involved uh, you might as well lead a group become offensive good nice and then we shall do early take 500 500 is just a little bit too much for me getting the next better gun hey look at that naval xp is looking pretty good and they're having problems down there Armor divisions, nice. We'll fix those up soon enough. Uh, so carries are good. We, we're making those. You guys not looking too bad. Now we can make you guys as well. Battle cruisers in the Greater London area. There you go. There you go. There you go. Five, five, one. Uh, that's that should be all right. Cool. Now they're probably going to invade all sorts of different areas that I own, which really, really sucks. But it is what it is. Just keep building for now. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Uh, I think we have enough naval XP for now, so go ahead and stop training and repair. So we're three and three. Questions motives of the United States. Good. Good. Sinusi's as as gone. Lord Protector. And since we own Canada as cores, we get a little bit of defense on it, so that's kind of nice. I don't know how strong the American divisions are, though. The Polish Republic has gone. Polish Republic. Oh, whatever. Military cult. I wait to be at war. We'll get that. Uh, sees that the grand campaign more political power. Daily communist support goes down. Do we get more daily communist support right now? No, it's already going down, so that, we can do that later on. Militarist cult sounds really good for five percent more population. So since our political power now grows from the barrel of our guns, we should establish a great militarist pride and tradition in, the, in our people's hearts. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wow, this is disgusting. This is really, really disgusting. Oh, well, yeah, let's do that too. There you go. Help them out. Using big ships to train all that stuff really isn't a smart idea, but whatever. Early... Oh, yeah. yeah. Definitely put emphasis on all that right there. Five? It's not bad. You can go up to six if you really want to. We can do that right there, then. You know, go to three. Since that's going to be filled out later anyways. Do that. No, hold on. We'll do, we'll do four. Four. There you go. Now fill everything out. else out first. One. Then do that. There you go. That's better. This is disgusting. I'm glad we're not getting involved in European affairs. For now. Oh, we will get involved, though. The battle for done. Without any British soldiers there. Massacre. Former department, good. Read an interception group. 
Uh, how long would it take for us to decrypt the United States stuff? Almost roughly a thousand days. That's a long time. I hate Austria-Hungary. Why did you make it look like this, Austria-Hungary? German support. Hmm. At least we can go to war. I'm glad about that. I'm so glad about that. You guys, three and four. That's not great. Five and six. Really not great. <laughs> but with the U.S. not having a navy, they shouldn't be able to navally invade, right? Then again, this is a Hoi 4 AI we're talking about, so they'll probably be able to. A little bit more lag. Wow, that is some extreme lag. Who is dying? What is going on? Hmm... That's okay. Oh, we create collaboration governments in different places. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. I don't believe in that. Militarist cult. I love the militarist cult. Now we're at 11% for support. Or, uh, fascist support. So we should get some, like, open up political discourse or something eventually to actually change us to fascism. Even though, because I don't think we're really fascist at all, but that's okay. Damage garrisons goes down. High command costs. Herbert Kitchener, angered by American posturing. Oh, you bet we are angered by them. Good. Uh, these cavalry divisions. They are not thick enough. I need some thick horses. I want some, like... Like, I want people to think that when they first see them, that they be, like, you know, elephants or rhinos. Yeah. Ride some cavalry rhinos into battle. There you go. That'll scare people. We're going to need more army XP. Hmm. But at least we can do something, finally. Might need some air bases here, too. Uh, interception group, good. Do we have any air bases? A little bit, southern Ontario. It's not bad. I could probably use more planes, actually. Nice. Get up to 100. 100 more, at least. 100 more. Split both of you in half. Time to do that. There you go. Another uh, army group. Thank you. Ah, well, there, there's Belarus, Ukraine, Polish Republic. Ooh, they are in the Central Powers. Oh man, that is looking pretty mighty. Especially if France, is, France and Belgium are trying to beat the Central Powers by themselves. That's that's really unfair. I should have joined the Entente, but I don't want to get involved in those affairs. I much prefer these affairs. Chemical Warfare? Oh, the Grand Campaign. Uh, seize aristocratic estates. Well, let's do the Grand Campaign. I want to get to restore order in the East. So, our Lord Protector seeks a Grand Campaign to expand the might of the Britannia and cement his rule. The only question is, where? Where shall we strike? And next up, Shock Strikes, more soft attack, heart attack, less supply consumption, backhand blow, or more breakthrough, and recovery rate. Um, I even like the recovery rate here, which is actually pretty good. I'm going to go with less supply consumption, more soft attack, and stuff for them. That seems, at least for me right now, seems to be the better choice. It's 1916, and we are enjoying ourselves. Is anyone going to get here? Zombie? Nope, they're not ready yet. Nope, don't even ask me. Yeah, we definitely question them. That's not bad. I like the stability thing here. Uh, radio interception group. That's not bad either. I guess French is really gone. Wow. That's the case. Drift defense, 1.4. Actually, it's a military staff. Organization, 8% is not bad. That's... This guy's okay. Training time's okay. That's not bad. Recovery rate isn't bad either. I like the speed for the for Hague, but let's get some more organization, because it, that'll help everyone. Everyone can use more organization, so... Good. The provisional... They ain't... Like, here? Cyprus? They ain't ready yet, son. Wow, this sucks for Greece. And now they're fighting each other. Great! Oh, great. Pantrania. Not in the Central Powers, though. Picking a fight with the Russians. Hmm. These guys are still struggling with each other. It'd be easy if we just went to war with France now and just navally invaded them, but... This is probably a little more interesting to, to actually try to fight off the United States. Let's see. Still the same manpower. They're not really doing much. Tons of fuel, of course. They're still disarmed. So we better strike. I don't know how many divisions they have. We better strike as fast as possible into their lands. They have enough divisions to guard the border, so I'm assuming they have more than 15... Probably. Probably. Do that. Do that. We probably need more. Yeah, we need more guns. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. We need more guns. What are we making? We need more military factories. What am I doing? What am I doing with my life? Boom, 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 boom. And now we should do the big wolf against Pantarania. 
the false line against Abyssinia or against Persia. We're kind of like the big wolf, but we'll do that later on. So, it sees aristocratic estates. The aristocracy would be doing much more with their wealth if it were directly owned by us or controlled. For the good of the country. Yes, yes, yes. Treaty of Brest-Litovsk. Nice. They sent a white piece. Oh, that's good. We're good for you guys. And we shall come over here and then do Kitcheners. So, here, plus division attrition. That's not bad. Special forces attack, more screen defense and attack. Entrenchment speed is okay, not great. Air superiority is probably what we're going to do. Um, do that. Hey, United Baltic Duchy. Or Federation, there's Federation. Oh, look at his smile. He's kind of happy about that. Republic of Lithuania, he seems kind of unhappy. He's a humble appeaser. While Lars is like, what am I doing here? And the Ukrainian state, well, the Santa Claus. Sorry, it's in. Oh, that's. Not good. Red Finland, you're looking a little pink there, Red. Just a wee bit pink. Hey, look. Now we're gonna get some guys even bigger. I do want to get to war so we can get some more army XP first. Because I'm I'm pretty sure we're gonna need it. We're definitely gonna need a lot more army XP. Ah, there we go. Very good. I'm not gonna change that up yet because we cannot afford to. I have such a big deficit of guns that it's not possible to change that up. Doing pretty well on you all we'll do that. Do both of those, and we're probably going to get some more fuel from maybe Mexico. Cool. Yep, work on those military factories right now. Intelligence agency, not Yemen. No, no, no. And let's grab that. Tanzania is gone. Well, good job, guys. In Belgium, I was a thick Belgium, Africa, African Belgium. That's kind of cool. Oh, look, another division. Plop you right there, and then plop you right there. Very good. Just don't get sunk in the sea. I got a million manpower, finally. Oil production goes up. Let's grab some more construction speed so we can build, 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 build. Do that too, so we can keep making that stuff. Good. Oh my god, we need so many guns. Look at that. I thought we were out of our deficit of guns, but I was mistaken. I was wrong. People are at war. We're not. Uh, let's go with... Uh, actually, London Flames. There you go. Cool. And Red Finland is gone. War propaganda against France. Sure, why not? Nope. Not Sierra Leone. And we should go to war very, very soon. Within a few weeks. Cool. Uh, how are the air bases here? Hmm. You get a few more fighters, probably. Actually, what am I doing that for? Combine them. Boom, 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 boom. All right, you guys, stop training. You're gonna need some XP here where we're going. I hope we can win it in these attacks. Ah, eh, we should be able to, especially over here. Yeah, we're gonna try to march straight in as fast as possible through there. Oh, we went to war for Puerto Rico. That's weird. We're gonna immediately go to war. Immediately attack and swarm them around there. Cool. And come that way, and then you guys will. Uh, you might as well just come down to LA. See if you can do that. And now France has been called in against us. Now that is interesting. If that's the case, we are not in our own faction. Can I join Germany's faction then? That is quite peculiar. I didn't think that would actually happen. But they join the Entente. Well, I gotta send you guys back home then. Well, alright then. As long as you guys can move quickly, that's all that matters. Government staff for schools, cool. Yes, please. Hope you guys are moving fast enough. Good, good. We're gonna surround. Oh, you know, just go to Seattle. Just go to Seattle. Make your own little town there, if you know what I mean. Uh, you guys might be able to win just from Buffalo. Maybe not. Maybe you can. But then again, maybe not. What are you guys doing? What the heck? Please let me join the Central 
of the central powers, I think that'd be amazing if we could. Now, we can't win in some places, which is fine. That's okay. Seize aristocratic means. That's good. Let's do publicly support the White Feather Society. So, it's a group of separate jets who encourage pacifist men to go to war, as is their rightful duty. Uh, let's just say we have got... I've got ideas about them. Thoughts. Opinions. Yeah, opinion probably better to say. Um, yeah, just... All you're here to do is just merely distract them. Alright, good. We're blowing up a few French ships. Love it. Take out Seattle. Keep these guys at bay. Nice. Now immediately kill these guys off. It's not much, but... It's pretty honest work. Cool, look at that. A couple more French shippies. Good, good, good. Let's see, Brenda's wounded. Kingdom speak. Nope, nope, nope. How are you these... I know they're fighting in the mountains, but that's pretty ridiculous if they're not starving. 1% attrition? Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, call off the attack for now. That's fine. Kind of hold. Hold for now. Yeah, no, if they can attack me and win, that's that's completely unfair. So, yeah, no. You're going you're gonna to hold until you die, pretty much. So, get to Seattle. Yeah, that's completely unfair. No, 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 no. We're not winning there. Don't let him take it. How did you... No! Are you kidding me? Well, that's complete BS. That's complete BS. And now they're attacking me over here. Now, good luck trying that, boys. Good luck. Ten divisions should be able to break over to Buffalo. Should is a good word. Government cipher schools. Cool. I've lost... Oh, that's not me. Oh, thank God. Uh, I've lost 57,000. That's quite a bit. Yeah, just call them all in. That's BS. That's complete BS. So, you're telling me if they starve, they don't really starve. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Well, move in. Alright. What happened... I swear to God, sometimes the AI is really wonky sometimes. And that way, ah, yeah, I love having puppets. Thank you very much. Let's come on, take the West Coast if you can. Even though we're not winning here, that's fine. Yeah, there's no way they should be able to break us. 1v1? No. Yeah, get the hell out of here. There's no way you can break us there if we're defending. There's, there can't be any way. Crucial states? Cool. Hey, the Germans are here to help out for some reason. Why don't you want me to join your faction, man? I mean, we can work together. Protected towards Belgium? Aren't you fighting the Belgians? Please tell me you can kill at least this one division off. That's so pathetic if you can. Uh, actually, if you just do this, you might be able to snipe them off a little bit. Good. At least win there. Cool. Yeah, no. These divisions aren't bad. No, they're, you know, they're kind of okay. They're not great, but still. I mean, my god. What the hell's going on? And then again, taking the U.S. takes forever, but that's pretty much where we're going to leave it here for today. Now there's 63. Thanks for letting me know, game. Anyways, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow, as we're definitely going to struggle against the United States and maybe take out the West Coast. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.